Hello and welcome to another video. Today it's all about the mini bikes. So we are going to take this one and make it look like this one because that light bar is far superior to this little 100 lumens maybe uh, headlight. It lights up absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, we, we like to ride later in the evening to where it's darker outside so we need lights um also there is no tail lights or anything that illuminates in the back so for this one i am going to experiment with this let's see if there's some way i can mount it here to light up at night so that at least someone can see us when we're driving um i only got one of these because i'm not quite sure if it's going to work or not if it is I will replicate it on this one, even though this one's barely ridden now because the caliper broke two days after we got it. And Tractor Supply does a no return policy on these, uh, as is. So I have to get a hold of the manufacturer, which is Coleman. Called them, went straight to voicemail. Weird. Um, called it out of the book. And no one's ever called me back. So I said, F it. I'm going to buy some better Chinese parts off of Amazon and uh, start modifying these to where they're a little more, what's the word? 2,000 years later. Structurally sound, stable. Anyway, we're, uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so first things first, I'm get rid of this old one. Um, so let's do that here. Let's see. Trusty 10 millimeter. So these little side panels here are just plastic and they just pop right off like that. So yeah. I forgot how difficult this is. Okay, so once you take the two main 10 millimeters out, you got two Phillips heads. They come out too. Then you got this housing here. So this housing here is what you're gonna end up cutting. Um, I just wanted to show you before I cut it, you got a metal bracket here that actually holds in the headlight housing. So if you were to change it, you'd actually have to take this out and pop the, the bulb in and out that way. But we're not gonna do that because we're getting rid of it completely. So, I'm just going to cut it like right here, like so, and that is that. So now, follow my wires back over here, pull this off, since I'm not too worried about warranties anymore because they don't exist, I'm just going to go ahead and splice it a normal way. <clears throat> the light I got. Bought it from AutoZone. It's a seven inch LED light bar. And it just so happens to fit almost perfectly in the old bracket. Ah, I'm dropping you guys. Uh, 
gotta kind of snug it in there and tighten it down. But voila. Make sure you use the proper included hardware. So it'll be your Allen bolt, it'll be a lock washer, and then a flat washer. So it should look like that. If you can see. So lock washer first, then flat washer. Turn it over here. If you need to get these out of time. Just so it's a little easier. Of course, this one is going to make me struggle, unlike the last one. There we go. Don't tighten it all the way. Wait till you get the other one in and started. Once again, bolt, lock washer, flat washer. Flat washer sit up against the bracket so that way the lock washer doesn't get all bent out of shape doing its job. Tighten it down to where it's snug. A little snugger than snug. So there you have it. Voila. <clears throat> so that step's done. Next step. Take the red, put it with the blue, take the black, put it with the green. And you can do that any way you please. I'm gonna use these, but before I connect those, I'm gonna to move to the back and try and get the backlight so that I can run the wire and splice it in to the power also because it all runs off of one system. There's no brake lights, there's nothing like that. It's just ran off of one little inverter and then that's what gives you all the power. So let's figure that out. Okay, so depending on how you want to mount this, it's got two little ground holes. Probably got nowhere to actually mount it that way. So what I did was I took a little punch. I'm gonna start two little holes. I got me some self-tapper screws here. And I'm just gonna tap it into that bar in a hope that it grounds out. If it doesn't ground out, then I'm gonna to have to run another eye bolt or an eye eyelet butt connector from here and then run it to the other side of the inverter. But hopefully this will ground it out. Uh, so yeah, let me go drill these holes. All right, so the only downfall with GoPros is their battery life sucks. So got it mounted. I think it's pretty center, looks center enough to me. Um, I did test it, I ran a wire from here to the power, cranked up the bike, see if it ran. I'll show you guys at the end of it all, same thing. But yeah, so now it's just the fact of wiring everything up. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this wire here, butt splice it to here, zip tie it all the way down, all the way up the frame here and then run it into this blue wire along with these wires for the headlights. Once I do all that, electrical tape, heat shrink if I got some, and then it will be done. So let me get that and I will show you guys the finished product. Be right back. All right, and there you have it. I ran the wire down and around, all the way down the frame, up in here. You can kind of see it right there a little bit. Goes up into here. And all you gotta do is tuck this away, like so. Well, I'd give it some room for whenever you turn. Pretty much like that. Pop 
put this back on. Pow, pow, pow. And there you go. Now you have full range. And uh, yeah, let me set you guys up. You guys, the back. Right. So there you have it. It's dark. I don't know if you can see me. Um, bam. Yep. Got these lights plugged up to that. Because I'm lazy and I don't feel like running, I'm hardwired. Um, but yeah, so that's the video. Simple, 20 minute job, 30 minute job. Uh, next video, I'm going to try and figure out how to wire these in. Oop. See if maybe I do one per bike. Maybe right here. Or if I do two, like mount them here. Or one on each handlebar. Not quite sure yet, but uh, right in that dark, it gets dark. So I just want people to see us whenever we ride. But yeah, so thank you for watching. There's more mini bike content, David. Um, so next video will be more mini bike content, David. Um, and then after that, maybe wiring up the security camera or something. David, I need you for that too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys enjoy your weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Machine. <laughs>